Hello, and welcome to a new video where I have a major announcement. I'm bored. So what better to do when you're bored than watch some YouTube videos? And the YouTube videos I'm gonna watch today are theme park commercials. Television, we all have one, we all watch it. Relatable message, inserts here. And I'm going to specifically look at 1998 theme park commercials because that is the earliest year that I can personally remember being to an amusement park. Honestly, it was probably 1997, but I cannot, I cannot remember that far back. So, 1998 it is. And we're gonna kick things off with Ontario Place Canada Amusement Park. We're going to Ontario Place. They've got everything there. They've got water slides so fast. And they've got basketball. You totally dunk balls into these like baskets. What? You totally dunk balls into these like baskets. Basketball. So Ontario Place Amusement Park has basketball. And they have these things that you have to hit balls into. And there's mini pipes. And they have these things that you have to hit balls into. Mini golf? They have mini golf? They've got log rides and you go on these logs and you like get so That log flume model is awesome. Okay, kids. Time to go. All right. Oh, I'm going again. Visit Blockbuster and save up to $4 off a play all day pass. That was very cute, but it's very strange that there was no footage of the park whatsoever in there. So if I'm going to rank this ad, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I like the animation, but where's the theme park? What? Huh? Crystal Palace Amusement Park, 1998. What makes Crystal Palace the ultimate for summer fun? We asked the experts. So are the rides fun? Yeah! The games? Yeah! Wow, that looks neat. Yeah! Well... Okay, I'm already gonna score this a little high for the repetitive sound effect. Well, there you have it. The experts agree. And with our outdoor amusement park, you've got fun in the sun all summer long. Crystal Palace. All the fun you can handle. A little uneventful, that one. But again, I really liked the yeah! sound effect. I'm gonna give this one a... I was, I was really nice with the last one because the animation was impressive. I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 10 as well. It just gets a 5 out of 10. Tulsa Pharaoh's Fury commercial at Bell's Amusement Park. If you want the fun that's fit for any king, looking for some action to ride the really swing. Keep the thrills afloat. Whoa, baby, gonna rock the boat. Oh, baby, gonna rock the boat. I love this. This is great. Pharaoh's Fury. At the top, you're looking straight down. Your stomach may or may not follow. <laughs> and Bells, it's a family thing. Oh, that was great. A ride that really swings. All of that for a swinging ship by Zamperla. It is by Zamperla, right? I don't know. This gets a 10 out of 10, for sure. Um, so many great shots, great direction. Oh, that was good. Just like the intro is so good, the way that they moved the backdrop out of the way. Completely thought that they were on a set and not just at the amusement park itself. And then he just jumps right into frame, right on cue, and it's perfect. If you want the fun. If you want the fun. I love the shot of him just slapping a vine of grapes into his face. Like, that wasn't intentional, was it? I don't know. Makes it better either way. I need to move on to another one. Oh, that's gonna be hard to top. Here we go, though. Local commercials. Adventureland, Iowa, 25th anniversary. May 27th, 1998. Let's give this one a go. Come on over to Adventureland. You're gonna have a fun day. It's our 25th birthday celebration, and we invite you to come join the fun. I just want to say right out of the gate, starting off strong with a jingle, any commercial that uses a jingle is good in my books. Can only go down from here, but we're already above a 5 out of 10, so let's keep going. Where you can enjoy your favorite rides, shows, and attractions, all for one low price. It's the most fun you'll have all summer. Come visit and see. It's fun you'll never forget. Come on over to Adventureland. Come on over to Adventureland. Come on over to Adventureland. You're going to have a fun-filled day. Come on over to Adventureland. You're gonna have a fun-filled day. 
It's our 25th. Is the jingle necessarily good? It sounds good. I like the sound of it. Some good shots of flat rides. They make the flat rides look good. Come on over to Adventureland. You're gonna love it at Adventureland. Yeah. Um, lyrics leave a lot more to be desired. Commercial's kind of forgettable and generic, but I do like the song either way. It's a nice jingle, it's nice to the ears. I like that. So, ah, I hate to be critical, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. That's still above average though, okay? These are just commercials. It's okay. Gonna love it at Adventureland. Ooh, Marineland commercial, 1998, 4K. Ooh, this might be restored digitally. It is! We've got rhymes. We're not just rhyming Adventureland with Adventureland. You're gonna love it at Marineland. Please come to Marineland. Make friends at Marineland. Give money to Marineland. Yeah, this one actually has rhymes. Goes. It's amazing shows and friendship code. Everyone loves Marineland. Everybody loves... So... Not everybody loves Marineland. Um, Marineland is kind of... Mm, mm. Not everybody loves Marineland, let's just say that. So the rides look good. Uh, that's Dragon Mountain, right? That's the name of the Arrow Looper that's like... It's like the beast if it was an Arrow Looper. That roller coaster looks amazing. But this commercial... Pretty good! You be spinning, diving, and soaring. Not a coaster ride, <laughs> soy to the sky. Now you know what you say when you leave here today. Everyone loves Marina. Fuck. If I could just rank the jingle alone, it gets pretty high up there. I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. I have to do it. It's, it's a bop. That's a certified bop. Disneyland Tomorrowland TV ad from 1998. <laughs> If you think the Coke machine is cool, you should see the rest of the place. I'm sorry, it opened with Coca-Cola? What is this? So Tomorrowland, it would like blast off your soda like it was a rocket. And the vendor would catch it and then give it to you. The new Tomorrowland is now at Disneyland. You can go 3D with Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Okay, genuinely terrifying ride to me when I was a kid. I was so scared of Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I remember um, hearing beforehand that there were some sensory things. I think there was a warning in the queue or something. And I heard some like chatter behind me about like rats at your feet. But I remember like the squeaking and the lights shutting out and everybody like screaming. Some people were screaming. And I was sitting there with my legs up on the chair. I had my feet up like this while uh, we were all on that um, ride experience. Uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Because that was a scare attraction for me when I was a kid. Also, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is a horror movie. Do you know how many times they almost die in that movie? Do you remember the scene where they get shot up into the lawnmower while the blades are spinning? So much nightmare feel in that movie with all the extra large bugs too. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids was the first horror movie that I have ever seen. Going back and watching it now, there's lots of screaming. There's lots of survival scenarios coming in left and right. That movie is scary as fuck. But I digress. It's it's the fun kind of trauma, though. I, I you know. Um, I went on Alien Encounter. No regrets. No regrets. Blast off on Rocket Ride. The unique experience in speed. Wow. Exactly. The new Tomorrowland is now at Disneyland, and it's something you'll never forget. Eh. Five out of ten, again. I'm sorry. Original Supreme Scream television commercial. Turbo Drop Tower at Knott's Berry Farm, 1998. What's it like to go up one of the tallest thrill rides in the world? A better question. What's it like to be blasted down? Ah! 
This is what I was here for. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, the blue color grading is insane. Wow. Supreme Scream. What a blast. You would not. I also like all of the wiggling graphics on screen. That's very fun. There, there's VHS static. Bad signal static, actually. In this, which actually aired on TV. Breaking the fourth wall, if you will. The glass is breaking. The camera breaking. Again. Breaking the fourth wall. Wow. So creative. So artistic. Whoa. I'm being silly here. This is a very cheesy commercial, but I do like it. I do appreciate the things that I'm actually saying I enjoy here. 7 out of 10. I'm giving that a 7 out of 10. It's a sight to behold, is really what it is. Let's go to Seabreeze 1998. Let's edit somewhere smaller and local. Summertime sun. Summertime fun. I love it when it starts off with a drum fill. Summertime summer. Summertime fun. Have the time of your life at Seabreeze. This weekend, it's easy to have fun. I love commercials that have that angle of a vertical loop looking up at it at, you know, from the side. Very good commercial trope from theme park commercials. Come to Seabreeze. It's easy to get to. Get in on the fun. Head to Seabreeze. Head to Seabreeze. I like the change of tone in his voice where he's kind of like, come on, what's wrong with you? Go to Seabreeze. It's like he's kind of giving you a little bit of a hard time. Like, why aren't you there already, idiots? Go to Seabreeze. Have the time of your life at Seabreeze. Idiots. Jingle lyrics are bad. I, I ironically like that, but I can't include that in my rating. So I'm just going to give this one a 7 out of 10. That was good. That was a good regional ad. I think I'm just going to end it right there. Um, bye.